Hey guys, it's Shira from Woodshop Diaries, and today I'm going to show you how to make a do-it-yourself modern boot tray. It's a two-board project, so all you'll need is a 1x2 and a 1x4, both 8 foot long. First, cut your 1x2 into two 11 and 3 quarter inch pieces and two 36 inch pieces. Then, once you're done with your 1x2s, that's actually your boot tray frame. For your bottoms, you're going to cut your 1x4 board into 8, 11, and 3 quarter inch long pieces. Once you get everything cut, give it a good sanding, and then jump over to your Craig pocket hole jig and start drilling your pocket holes. You'll need to drill 3 quarter inch pocket holes into the short sides, like the 11 and 3 quarter inch sides of your 1x2 and into both ends of all of your 1x4 pieces. Now it's time for assembly. You'll attach your 1x2 uh, board pieces, just like shown, into a rectangular frame. You'll want to attach your short 1x2s in between your two longer 1x2s using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws, just like shown. Once you've got your frame together, now you need to start attaching your bottom pieces. You're going to attach these like slats, so it won't actually be a solid bottom, it'll be like a slatted bottom. Um, to make it easy, I just used a board, as you can see, as a spacer, so that gives you a 3 quarter inch spacer between each uh, bottom board. Um, the last one won't be exactly 3 quarter on each side, it'll be pretty close, but like I said, not exactly. It doesn't really matter for this project if they're exactly spaced, so that's okay. Just screw in each 1x4 slat, like shown, using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. Once you get done with screwing one end, you can flip it upside down and screw in the other side as well. Now that your boot tray is assembled, you want to kind of put a moisture barrier on the bottom side. What I did is cut a piece of tar paper. It's like roofing paper, what they put under shingles. Um, you can buy a roll at your local home improvement store. Um, it's pretty inexpensive. Or if you wanted, you could use a plastic bag or a plastic um, sheet. What you'll do is you'll want to cover the whole bottom and you put like a little lip around the outside edge. That's just to keep water from seeping through the bottom of your slats onto your floor. Once you have your moisture barrier in place, you don't have to staple it or anything. Um, once you put the rocks on top, it'll hold it down. All you do is just take a bag of landscaping rocks, whatever color you want. I like the white ones. Um, and just pour it into the boot tray. Fill in any open gaps, any places that's not covered very well. Uh, basically just fill it with rocks. It's, it's that simple. And that's it for a few bucks and maybe an hour of your time. You can make a modern boot tray just like this one. Grab the full plans over at Build Something, the link is in the description below, and check out plenty more do-it-yourself projects on my channel and on my website. Check it all out in the links below.